Hi friends, I'm Miss Twinkle and this is my little helper star. She is going to help us learn today. We're going to learn how to count to 10. Counting is like a special power that helps us in so many ways. And today, you're going to be a counting superstar. Let's talk about what a number is. Numbers help us know how much of something we have. For example, if you want to know how many fingers you have, you count them. Should we try that together? Numbers can be shown in lots of different ways. First, we have the word one. This is how we spell one when we read it. Next, we have the number one. This is the numeral we see and write when we count. And last, we have a picture of one item, just like this finger. Can you hold up one finger, just like the picture? Great, let's keep exploring numbers and learn how they can look in different ways. Here is the number two. First, here's the word two. This is how we read it and spell it. Next, here is the number two, this is the numeral we see and write when we count. And finally, we have a picture of two items, just like these two fingers. Can you hold up two fingers? Great job! Next is the number three. Here is the word three, the number three, and last, a picture of three items like these three fingers. Can you hold up three fingers with me? Wow, you're doing amazing. As we count, keep showing the number with your fingers so we can see how many we have. Here's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We counted all ten fingers and soon you will be able to count to ten all by yourself. Now let's get started learning how to count to ten. Let's start with zero. We don't usually count zero when we count things, but it's still an important number. Just like all numbers, we can show the number zero, zero written as a word, and zero with our fingers. Let's meet Zero the Hero. Zero is the hero of Numberland. Whenever other numbers are in trouble, they call Zero to help. When Zero gets a call, he makes a zero in the air. Can you make a zero in the air with your finger? Uh-oh, number one is in trouble. His balloon is stuck in a tree. He needs to call zero the hero. Which button shows zero? Great job. Zero rescued the balloon. After zero comes the number one. Here is the number one the word one, and one finger. Let's meet number one. He loves having one of everything. Number one is tired from playing all day and is ready to get on the road to go home. The road is shaped just like the number one. Let's make a one in the air with our fingers. Which house do you think is his? Can you find the house with only one window? Awesome! You found number one's house with one window. After one is two. Here is the number two, the word two, and two fingers. Let's meet number two. Today, number two is off to the zoo. The road is shaped 
just like the number two. Let's follow along and make a two in the air with our fingers. Look at all the animals in the zoo. The number two sees his favorite animal and there are two of them. Can you find an animal that appears two times? Awesome, you found two giraffes. After two, comes the number three. Here is the number three, the word three, and three fingers. Let's meet number three. It's a beautiful day and number three wants to go to the park. The road is shaped just like the number three. Let's follow along and make a three in the air with our fingers. At the park entrance, number three sees different gates to choose from. Can you find the gate with three circles on it? Good job! Number three made it inside the park. After three comes the number four. Here is the number four, the word four, and four fingers. Let's meet the number four. Number four wants to go to the store. The road is shaped just like the number four. Let's follow along and make a four in the air with our fingers. At the store, number four sees flower pots. He wants to get the one with four flowers. Can you find the flower pot with four flowers? Good job! Number four has four flowers. After four comes the number five. Here is the number five the word five, and five fingers. Let's meet number five. Number five wants to explore outside. The road is shaped just like the number five. Let's follow along and make a five in the air with our fingers. Outside, number five sees a beehive. How many bees can you find? Great job! There are five bees at the beehive. After five comes the number six. Here is the number six. The word six and six fingers. Let's meet number six. Number six wants to visit his friend. The road is shaped just like the number six. Let's follow along and make a six in the air with our fingers. Outside his friend's house, he sees some sticks. Number six makes shapes with the sticks. Can you find the shape that has six sticks? Good job! The hexagon has six sticks. After six comes the number seven. Here is the number seven, the word seven, and seven fingers. Let's meet number seven. Number seven wants to visit a beach. The train tracks are shaped just like the number seven. Let's follow along and make a seven in the air with our fingers.
At the beach, number seven makes a sand castle. Can you find the sand castle that has seven flags? Good job! This sand castle has seven flags. After seven comes the number eight. Here is the number eight, the word eight, and eight fingers. Let's meet number eight. Number eight wants to visit the farm. The road is shaped just like the number eight. Let's follow along and make an eight in the air with our fingers. At the farm, number eight spots apple trees. Can you find the apple tree that has eight apples? Good job! This tree has eight apples. After eight comes the number nine. Here is the number nine the word nine and nine fingers. Let's meet number nine. Number nine wants to visit the jungle. The road is shaped just like the number nine. Let's follow along and make a nine in the air with our fingers. At the jungle, Number nine finds an animal that has nine spots. Can you find an animal that has nine spots? Good job! The leopard has nine spots. After nine comes the number 10. Here is the number 10, the word 10, and 10 fingers. Let's meet number 10. Number 10 wants to go camping. On the way, she came across some mud and writes her name. Let's follow along and make a 10 in the air with our fingers. At the campground, Number 10 needs to get logs to make a fire. Can you count how many logs she has? Good job. Number 10 has 10 logs to make a campfire. Great job, everyone. You are fantastic counters. Before we go, let's say hello to our number friends one more time. Ready? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome! Now it's time to say goodbye. Remember to keep practicing your counting, and I'll see you again soon. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA for more It's Easy with Twinkle videos.